stop. Stop what you're doing right now. If you're a small business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, stop what you're doing and listen up. You're focusing on the wrong metrics. And I see this all the stinking time. Business owners, small business owners, entrepreneurs, they take pride in the wrong metrics and focusing on the wrong metrics in your business does not help you scale, grow, live the lifestyle you want or achieve the income or profitability that you want. I see this all the time in marketing. I see this all the time in sales. I see this all the time in finances, right? I put out a ton of videos about marketing, put out a ton of videos about sales, so we're gonna leave that alone. Let's talk money because it is finance Friday, right? So here's the thing, you're focusing on the wrong message, metrics. A lot of people, they look at revenue and they get tunnel vision and they do not focus on anything else. Well, guess what? Your revenue don't mean jack if you are not profitable. You can have all the revenue in the world, but if you have no profits or you're running in the negative, you don't have much of a business because a gust of wind is going to put you under, right? People like to throw around revenue, beat their chest like Hong Kong, right? I made hundred thousand dollars this month. I made a million dollars this month in revenue, right? Like it's a badge of honor. It's not, right? It sounds sexy because it's big numbers. What's not sexy is profit, net profit. Yes, it's smaller. It's sexy. It's not sexy, but it is a true measure of the long-term viability and success of your business. No clients, no business. No profit, no business. It really would suck to have a gust of wind put you out of business because you don't have the liquidity to adapt to changing economies, changing markets, market more, right? It really is that simple. And the thing is, if you are not profitable, you do not have access to capital. No lender, no institution, no VC, no investor, nobody is going to consider giving your money, your, your business, any capital, any money, if there is no profit. You need profit to scale. You need profit to be successful. You need profit to make moves. And you need profit to borrow capital, to have access to money. It's that simple. Your P&L statement, your AR reports, right? Your company financials, those are key. If you have a bunch of account payables that are overdue, account receivables that are overdue, if your P&L statement is shot, that's a good sign that you're misman you, your company is being mismanaged, running properly, or you're dealing with the wrong clients because they're not paying their bills. They're not paying you and you need to get paid because guess what? You need to eat or you need to have a lifestyle and chances are you may have staff and if you're not able to pay your staff and you're stressing about payroll every single month, it's not going to take long before they leave. And the ones who stick around aren't going to be quality staff. You're going to have a hard time attracting the staff that you need. That's it. Focus on the correct met on the correct metrics. What is your net profit? Are your balance sheets healthy? What does your ARAP look like? like? What do your company financials look like? All of these things show lenders, investors, anybody, the health of your business. And if you have an unhealthy business and you're not running it properly, there is no financial aid because guess what? I've said it before, I'll say it again. There is no help for those who do not help themselves. Make sure you have the appropriate financial team in place to make sure your business is running smoothly, is running profitably, right? And that a gust of wind isn't going to put you out of business, that you have the liquidity to scale and grow and accomplish everything that you want to accomplish. That's what I got. 
Have a wonderful day, guys. We're going to chat soon. And as always, hit me up if you have any questions. Cheers.